Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. In this video, we're going to be doing a unboxing and first impressions of the new Fire TV Stick 4K. Okay guys, here is the new Fire TV Stick 4K. In this video, we'll do like an unboxing and first impressions, and then in a later video, I'll do a full in-depth review. The Fire TV Stick 4K is upgraded uh, much, much better from the original Fire TV Stick that was released originally in 2016. Um, it has 1.5 gigs of RAM instead of 1 gig. Um, it has a 4 uh, quad-core Cortex 1.7 GHz processor instead of a 1.3 GHz processor. Um, also, it has Bluetooth 5.0 supporting 4K, Dolby Vision, HDR, Dolby ML 7.1. It basically has a lot and lot of features. But today, we're going to go over my first impressions and the unboxing. Once you actually get into the box, it opens up like a little book, which is kind of nice. You also have here some uh, quick instruction guides for your Fire TV Stick 4K. And you also get the micro USB cable used to power your Fire TV Stick. Uh, also in the box, you get a little um, HDMI extender cable. Um, it was a little tricky to get out at first. I'm not sure why, but I think it was kind of getting stuck on the... Um, a little tab here in the back but basically it just pulls out uh, pretty pretty easily here um, you basically use this because I actually always rec recommend using it because it'll put weight on your fire TV stick if it's just kind of plugged into a TV you also get the uh, new remote control um, which has uh, lots of extra buttons it also has like a mute button it has a volume button home button a button for Alexa this does come with built-in Alexa as well. Other than that, it is pretty uh, similar than the other uh, Fire TV Stick remote, other than those little extra nips and features. Also in the box, which I love for Amazon doing, which is something pretty simple that everybody should do, it comes with included batteries. I know batteries are pretty simple, but it's just sometimes when you have a box, you prefer to have the batteries come with the box. You also get a standing uh, wall uh, adapter when you plug in and turn on your actual Amazon Fire TV stick. Now you can also use um, your TV, but they do recommend actually using the included wall adapter so the correct voltage can be applied to your Amazon Fire TV stick 4K. So sliding the actual new Fire TV stick here out of its plastic wrapping, um, it's a little bit thicker, fatter, and longer than the original Fire TV stick. That's because it's probably um, need to host all that new processor and some more RAM and basically upgraded features. Guys, I'm actually really interested to see how this box will perform. In a later video, I will of course do a full in-depth review going over performance, specs, what it can handle, Wi-Fi speeds, internet, uh, video streaming, and all that great stuff. Um, for now, it's basically my first impression. So far, I like it. But in my next video, I will do a full review and show you guys what this Fire TV stick is all about. And there you guys have it. This is my unboxing and first impressions of the new Fire TV Stick 4K. Please stay tuned for the full in-depth review. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.